Married to medicine star, Sweet Tea says Dr. Heavenly's husband, Dr. Damon, cheats on her. I didn't even pay no mind because I know it ain't true. But if I go down low and I start stooping low and talking about Damon, it would be an issue. And I don't, I'm not that type of person to do that. I'm not. But we know that your husband has cheated on you. Even you even told me, Heavenly, that when Mariah said that she had receipts, you believed Mariah on, on Damon. You believed it. You told me you believed it. So that, that leads me to believe that he has cheated. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. You're going to stick by your man. That is fine. A lot, a lot, a lot of y'all will. A lot of y'all will. And that's okay. That's fine. Just say that. Do you want me to laugh. bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, no. baby girl? Because no. I got receipts. But keep my husband out of it. If you don't want your husband in it, don't talk about mine. That's just how it go, baby. That's how it's gonna go. Don't, don't, don't keep doing that. And you guys have to heavenly lies about a lot of stuff. Yes, to start off the mess. There has to be a villain on the show. Got it. Got it. Okay, that that that. But do you want me to be the villain? Do you really want it? Because everybody's still getting to know me. You don't know what I'm capable of. You don't know. Now I done supported this heifer. Pay my hard-earned money in support of Heavenly's business. And what she does, she goes and talks about my house and what I can do about the house and all that publicly. Now, mind you, I, I, as a friend, I would support another friend. My neighbor has done way more for me than what Heavenly has ever done for me. She's never spent a dime on helping me get my business up and, up and running. She ain't helping me with a goddamn thing. And if you were truly a real good friend, you would have just offered the advice. You would have just offered the advice versus wanting to get money from me. You would have offered that. So you were not a true, genuine friend. I did not know about the endometriosis. When you guys watched me in that last episode, that was the, one of the first things I filmed. Gregory was very aware of what was going on with me. Very aware. And it's disgusting. Very disgusting to see other black women support that and say, I lied about having something like that. Go do your research on what endometriosis is. Please go. Just go. Because it's just na downright nasty of some of the comments that I've gotten. And that's and it really is because Heavenly, she is the one that went and started talking about that before I even had a chance to even show my story. The, the fact that Sweet Tea, and I got a couple of questions, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Sweet Tea had a whole scene about being infertile, right? About No, not being infertile, having endometriosis or whatever, whatever. To me, she met with the doctor. Okay, that was interesting. No, 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 no. The interesting part with me was at the dinner table, which I was not there because I would have asked the right questions. And she said that she went to the doctor a while ago and the doctor told her that she's just going to have to deal with her pain. My question for Sweet Tea is, how the fuck long did you know you had these problems? Because it looked like you, you came to Dr. G with false pretenses. Look like to me, if you come in with a baby emoji and you got 50 to 75 percent chance of not being able to have a baby, that should have been discussed a long freaking time ago. You cannot come in my DMs with a baby emoji and you know you bleed and hurt. Now, I don't know when it started, yeah. but it couldn't have started this year. That's well, my question. And that's my drama for the show. How are now? I was pregnant when I got married, but my man know what he was getting. Okay, right? <laughs> so don't talk about me. But what I'm saying is, if you gonna come on this show, you gonna watch this show, be a fan of this show, be a fan of Quad, want her life, and then come on the show promising a baby. Bitch, you better have a baby. You better have a baby because all this y'all talking about, you had to have been on there. We get pap smears all the time. There's no way you could tell me that my in my walls of my uterus are falling and bitch I didn't know it come on now don't do this this season this year because honestly that scene was taped at the beginning of the year so she knew it at the beginning of the year that she was having these problems now if she had it at the beginning did she not know last year did she not know the year before so when you gave me a baby emoji because you knew Dr. G really wanted a baby mm. and you came on the show with that pretense I got a question with that 